Hey YouTube, time for the tutorial for blind poker hand. Okay, you may have noticed I used this deck. <coughs> it's not a marked deck. There's no setup in this deck whatsoever. It's just taken loads and loads of practice to get a feel of every card, and the cards were genuine, uh, genuinely shuffled. I'm going to teach you the easy way to do this trick involving a deck with a difference. It's not a gimmick deck, don't worry. You don't need to ruin your cards. This is just a normal deck with border and whatever. Completely normal deck. And it was an impromptu trick. I shuffled the cards. There was no setup whatsoever. And that was just the skill of feeling the cards and whatnot. It's okay. This is a tutorial, the easy way. Everyone could do it and look like a magician. You need a deck, kind of. You don't have to have this specific deck, but it's a deck that when you turn over, when you turn cards the opposite way, you probably see me now doing it. You can probably see you, they're rather noticeable. So okay, let's just sort this deck out then. I'll just fast forward it. Hey guys, the deck has been fair and square. It's back to normal. No light. So look, I'll show you what happens. Let's shuffle the deck together first. If you pick a random card, let's say this card, and put it in the and flip the deck around, and if they put the card back in anywhere. When you spread the card out, you can see there's one card that's different. Right there. All the cards are exactly the same, but that back, that one solitary back is different. And if you pull it out, it's their card, whatever card they chose. And that's what used, that's what can be used in this version. And that's what we're gonna use in this version. So okay. You probably figured out by now, but you need to get a, a royal flush for that. Be any, I've used the spades, the ten jack, queen, king, ace, or spades. So let's get, there's a ten of spades, jack, ace, <coughs> king. Sorry if it's noisy out there, it's just the birds. So that's got the 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. And you set it up in that order. 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. You put them in the opposite way. In different places in the deck. Let's put the stick around like that. In random places in the deck. set up so when you spread the cards out you can see you've got the five different cards that's the that's let's see that's the ten the jack or whatever setup we had so now you can shuffle the cards in any way you want because basically those cards are still going to stay the same way different to all the rest of the cards so you can shuffle them there's still always going to be five cards face in a different way. Okay. You can riffle them. You can table cut them. You can fry them and pick them. Well, actually no, because that might change the some of the other cards that go the wrong way as well. But any kind of shuffle you know to generally mix up the cards fair and square. And there's still those five cards. Now it's as simple as showing the just facing the cards to the spectators can see the cards, the faces, but you can see you can only see the backs. So all you're doing is looking for the first card that faces the opposite way. So the first card that faces the opposite way is this card, and it's a ten of spades. Then go for the next one, and basically what you can try and do is you make it feel the cards and make it go like sometimes go. Oh, I think it no, it's not wrong. Kind of like change your mind that way, you know. I'm just rushing quickly, so let's say. 
you you can you can kind of go. Oh, I don't know if it's this one actually. Oh, no, I don't think it is. And then you come to this one, and it is one. Let's just rush this quickly. Oh, oh no, yeah. So that's that. And obviously now you found a royal flush. That's the easy way. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. That was Blind Poker and Tutorial. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Tell me what you think. It's my original trick as far as I know. I've seen people do this trick in different ways. The way that I do it is uh, practice and practice and practice with just finding the cards from a normal deck. It's practice and practice with no setup. Just loads of practice, and this is just an easy way I found. Or uh, so tell me what you think, and I'll see you next time.